everyone, it's Charlton, and uh, it's been reported multiple places that the Vice Admiral Scott Stearney, the commander of U.S. Naval Forces and Central Command, and the U.S. Fifth Fleet, um, which is uh, covers the, the Middle East and parts of South Asia, I believe, was found dead Saturday in his residence in Bahrain. Um, U.S. military officials said, and and now, I mean, initially it was just, and they don't suspect any foul play, and they still don't, but it is being reported, it was late last night by CBS, CBS, CBS is the only person reporting this, a couple other outlets have actually re-reported it, The Hill and, and, and The Huffington Post, but many of the other um, news organizations are still just reporting it that he was found dead but according to CBS News you know they're calling it an apparent suicide and that's according to defense officials defense officials told CBS News they are calling it an apparent suicide Stearney was the commander of U US Navy's Bahrain based 5th Fleet Rear Admiral Paul Schleiss uh, the deputy commander of the 5th Fleet has assumed command and um there's actually a uh, statement here from John Richardson, Admiral John Richardson, just you know, expressing how um, everybody at the Navy are devastated. His family is uh, devastated. He was married. He so he was 58 years old. I don't know if he had children or not. I'm assuming he did. It's obviously a terrible shame, and. Uh, they, like I said, it's being investigated, but they do not suspect any foul play. And he's just such an accomplished individual, such an accomplished individual. When you read through everything he did and just to the, to the position he, he rose to, it's, it, I mean, it really, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's impossible to speculate why, why, the, why this person would take their own life, you know? And, uh, it's it's just it's very unusual. It really is. So, but here's the statement from the Navy. Just a portion of it. Team, it's my sad duty to inform you that today the Secretary of the Navy and I were told that Vice Admiral Scott Sterney, our Commander of U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, and Commander of U.S. Fifth Fleet in Bahrain, was found deceased in his residence in Bahrain today. This is devastating news for the Sterney family, for the team at Fifth Fleet, and for the entire Navy. Uh, Scott Sterney was a decorated naval warrior. He was a devoted husband and father, and he was a good friend to all of us. The Naval Criminal Investigative Service and the Bahraini Ministry of Interior are cooperating on the investigation, but at this time, no foul play is suspected. Rear Admiral Paul Schlees, the Deputy Commander of Fifth Fleet, has assumed command and is maintaining continuity in our responsibilities and posture in the U.S. Fifth Fleet. I ask that you keep the Sterney family in your prayers and respect their privacy as they navigate through these very difficult times. We will keep you informed as we learn more. Thank you very much. Team. So, um, he was a father and, uh, um, this was, this was tweeted out. The statement was uh, tweeted out around 4 PM yesterday, you know, yesterday afternoon. It wasn't until about eight o'clock last night that it was being reported by CBS that, um, that it was being, uh, investigated as an apparent suicide, you know, and, um, he just has such an unbelievable, um, you know, career and life that, um, at that stage in life, at 58, why, why, why this individual would have committed suicide is really, it's really baffling to me. It really is. And I'm sure his family is devastated. So, um, so as I was saying, uh, he has an unbelievably de decorated career and, um, yeah, and he was, he's originally from Chicago. He graduated from Notre Dame before, before commissioning with the Navy and, um, you're just ascending on an unbelievably accomplished uh, lifelong career. So just not to belabor the point, just the, the idea of, of why he would commit suicide at age 58. I don't know. You know, God only knows. But um, um, 
whether mental illness at this in, in this situation just seems or depression or sting, something of that so something of that nature just didn't seem to fit but i don't but it's still it's not impossible either definitely you just never know but Vice Admiral Scott Stierney, a native of Chicago, Illinois, graduated from University of Notre Dame, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Economics prior to commissioning in the U.S. Navy in, in October 1982. He subsequently entered, entered flight training and was designated a naval aviator, aviator in, in April 1984. Operationally, he served in numerous strike fighter squadrons, flying the F.A. 18 Hornet. He served in Kabul, 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 Afghanistan as Chief of Staff of Joint Task Force 435 and later Combined Joint Interagency Task Task Force 435. Just numerous assignments, and um, he oversaw U.S. naval operations in the in the Middle East and Southwest Asia, including uh, safeguarding the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz. Uh, in the Red Sea, the New York Times reported Stierney joined the Navy in 1982. The Strait of Hormuz is, is a, in the Persian Gulf is always in dispute. I think Iran constantly believes that it's their 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 waters, and um, you know it's a vital passageway for transporting much of the world's oil. You know that's very narrow, and whoever controls that can can control much of the world's oil supply. So, but and. Um, so, but his appointment to that to that position uh, was only in May. Is you know to where he was appointed to uh, the um, took charge of the Navy's Fifth Fleet and Naval Forces Central Command in May of this year. And uh, Sterney, a native of Chicago, again, that's more about his um, his very accomplished life and career. Well, uh, even even you know Al-, Al Jazeera has a story about him. Much of the same information. Well, that's the story there. I don't know if we're going to hear more about this or not. I know that the uh, you know the Army and Navy, U.S. forces, um, armed forces have uh, are very tight lipped about these matters like this. So I don't know that we will. But again, it's just um, it's just highly uh, highly unusual. It's very sad as well. Right before Christmas, man. For his family. Terrible. All right. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.